I still see people struggling to find good open source projects to contribute to. Are you having the same challenge? Then you're in the right place. And let's clarify, what do I mean by good? I mean friendly, safe, great onboarding process, great community to help you grow and continue to learn. What do you think a great open source project means to you? Let me know in the comments below. I did previously make a video about GitHub's advanced search, which includes tips like the last time the project was active because no one wants to contribute to a dead project. I'll link it in the description below. So in this video, I want to make a different video, not the same as the last one because you can watch that afterwards. So I actually made a tweet asking for your tips. So we're gonna go through those and I'm gonna share my thoughts I definitely have a few favorites and some that I never thought of that I'm gonna share with you. So let's see if your tweet comes up. So I tweeted this, how to find a good open source project. I usually share tips, but what would you recommend? And there were some great and interesting ideas. So here we have Hacker News. I never thought of that. I actually don't look at Hacker News and you know, before some of you go, oh, Eddie, well, I, I don't. And that's something I think I'm gonna change. I'm gonna add this into my weekly routine to go check out the interesting projects there, but also the ones that are definitely open source. So thank you so much, Antheo, for that great suggestion. Pandit's comment made me laugh. I recommend they follow Eti. He's the chat GPT of open source. I actually retweeted that because that really, really made me laugh. Thank you so much, Pandit. And then Pratuma here has shared their blog posts and there are some great tips in here. So I highly recommend checking it out. So he does shout out his first tip, look at the good first issue finder in the Eddie Hub community. And this is great. You can find um, projects that do have good first issues. Uh, and we do want to improve this project to so actually have some checks around that because a good first issue that just has a title is really not a good first issue. It needs to have the steps that someone will need to take to replicate it and, and to do it. And you can see here that Produma also talks about GitHub's advanced search. Um, and you can see for the screenshot, you can filter by style stars and forks and those sorts of things that are really quite obvious, but the interesting ones is what the license is and when it was last active and some other interesting things too. GitHub Topics, I think is an interesting one too. I think people put the wrong topics on their projects and maybe don't update them. We're also guilty of that as well. A really great idea because you could filter by a certain technology that you're interested in. And then you can search the whole of GitHub for good first issue, but you're going to get a lot of labels that are good first issues, the projects that are maybe not active anymore. So that's why I think the advanced search is better. So go check out that uh, blog by Produma. It's lots of great tips. We also have a blog here from Chrissy. Let's take a quick look as well. So this is uh, really interesting. Uh, Chrissy's taken another approach, like think about your passions. Don't just contribute to the most popular or most starred repo on GitHub. That's not gonna have a lot of kind of energy and motivation from you. So look at your passions, I really like that. You do ask your colleagues, ask your friends and ask other members in the communities that you belong to. And Chrissy's also mentioned some tools here as well. Great to see um, that the Eddie Hub project is also listed here as, here as well. So I think that's, uh, that's great. This one made me laugh as well. So thank you so much, Sarad. Follow Eddie for good for his tips. There are actually some really interesting tips I'm saving to later on. But you know, that's how it's coming in the in the Twitter timeline. I'm not prioritizing this in any order, but there are some really good ones. So I really like this one uh, by Rio. Look at the starred repos of cool open source programmers. Okay, like Eddie, but also other people. What repos are they starring? I think that's super interesting. And that's where it brings me to kind of your github.com, so your, your landing page. You know, who are you following? following and what projects are they starring? What projects are they contributing to? You can go through this and have a look. You know, you can see Debbie has created a repository recently, eight hours ago for API mocking. So that's something that sounds interesting to you. You can star it yourself so it appears in your timeline and you can go check it out as well. Um, so this is recent stuff, which I think is super interesting because you want things that are recent, that are active, that other people are, are passionate about as well. So this is a, a great idea. So I really, really like that and make use of your GitHub home page and you also have a for you page which is in beta at the moment on github which looks interesting this is where you can discover people and projects outside of the people that you follow and the repos that you star so i think that's a really interesting one as well wesley has a few great tips here as well so the first one is look at the projects that you use already as so there's a good project to contribute to but they might be quite big they might be moving quite fast but definitely go check those out it's a good place to start i like the idea wesley's saying 
replace an existing closed source tool you use for an open source alternative. So you could create your own. And then the third tip, which I really, really love is um, start providing feedback. Are there any features missing, documentation missing or incorrect or out of date? And there probably are. That's a really great way to, to get started. People have mentioned look for the popular projects by the most stars. I actually don't recommend doing that because the project's gonna move very fast. It might not be a project you're passionate about or technology-wise or topic-wise. And just because it's got more stars doesn't mean it's a better project with better onboarding with really friendly people and supportive people because that's what you want. Because if it isn't friendly, if it isn't supportive, if it isn't a safe place, you're gonna lose interest. It's gonna hurt your motivation and also your momentum, which you really wanna keep up your momentum. Tech Twitter is a good choice. Also, Jack suggests uh, Alternative 2, and you can filter by open source, which I think is great. And then you can find open source projects on there, which I think is brilliant. Open Source Alternative 2, again, recommended as well, which is really, really good. I think it's a really good suggestion, Ashish, as well. Great, and great that you've added some more information. Um, you can, you can learn more about the project. GitHub Advanced Search, absolutely, it's a good option from Xi'an. Uh, Shub suggests Twitter as well as GitHub. I think that's really good, you're right. Let's see what projects people are contributing to and they usually share it on Twitter about their pull requests and see what their kind of reaction was to contributing to that project. Was it a positive reaction? Then great, get involved. Was it negative? Then maybe not. Just to recap some of my favorites, which were kind of new to me, uh, which I thought was quite interesting. Follow people. That's why you follow people on GitHub is so you can see what they're up to and what contributions they're making to their projects and to other projects so you can learn more about those. So definitely look at your timeline and follow people. And if someone moves to a different technology that you're not, not interested in, then maybe unfollow them if that's not something you want to appear in your timeline. And look at your For You page, which is in beta at the moment. And there are some great projects like Good First Issue Finder and Hub, which will really help you find projects. And you can contribute to those projects or use them to find other projects. Just get involved and it will all come together. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe below, and come and geek out with us every day in open source in EddieHub. We're there in Discord and in our GitHub org. We're collaborating every day, so we're all learning and supporting each other. I'll see you there.